like South Shore turn the ball over and South Jersey is attacking in their 40. They're getting the ball wide and play is stopped. And they will move back to the knock on center field at about the 35 meter line. For those not familiar with rugby, a knock on takes place when the ball hits the hands of a team and falls forward on the ground. The team on the defense will get the ball for a scrum. So scrum down to South Jersey, center field on the 35. And it looks like the eight man is gonna take it and dishes it off to nine. Dishes it off to 13. Strong run by 13. And 13 gets to, oh, 13 went for the offload. Knock on advantage. And a big powering run by number 12 on South Shore off the turnover. They still have advantage. South Shore trying to gain some stability with their forwards. Pods left, a strong counterattack on the defense. And looks like they're going to try to kick it over here. Goes over the head of the fullback. A nice reset from the, the fly half. And 15's making a run. Dodges one, gets tackled. And seven takes a pick and go on South Jersey. Stolen ball for South Shore with the ball on about the 50 meter line. They get it wide to the eight. Eight's taking it wide. A good run by South Shore. Number eight keeps going. Does she have the pace to make it to the try line? She looks like she gets tackled short and she dots it over for the try. Try South Shore. Number eight with the 40 meter run. What an effort. For those tuning in, a try happens when the ball goes over the try line, they touch it down. The conversion will be kicked from where they scored in the try zone. So they look like they are about at the, the 10 meter line on the sideline. And that is where they will take their conversion for the chance to get two more points added to the board. Just really a great, great transition play by South Shore. Uh, they, they ripped the ball out of the ball carrier's arms, got it wide, and number eight had a, had a pretty spectacular personal effort. It looks like the conversion is no good. South Shore is up 5-0, six minutes into the match. And they will receive the kick from South Jersey. Match that's taking place right now. 
This is the round of 16 teams. And they are competing for a chance to make it to the national qualifier in St. Louis, Missouri in June. Looks like the kickoff did not go 10 meters. So South Shore will be awarded a scrum. Center field on the 50 meter line. And uh, we saw number eight take a nice run. Wonder if uh, you know she'll have the hot hand and, and take a pick and go off this scrum center field. Looks like South Shore is lined up with their backs to the left. South Jersey has both wings up. And they will take it to the backs. Number 10, skip to 13. 13 takes a run, puts the stiff arm on two. South Shore players put the stiff arm on again. And a very nice run by 13. Oh, pick and go. Ref says it went backwards, still South Shore ball. Number nine. Pop to the, oh, and a big hit by South Jersey to stop them in their tracks. South Shore regaining their composure. And it looks like a pick and go. Went backwards. Oh, another pop. Strong run by 12. And she was taken out at about the five yard line in South Jersey's half. For those tuning in, the sideline is the orange markers on the field where you see the flags on the white line. That is not the sideline. <laughs> so I wonder if that has, uh, that'll have any, cause any confusion this, this morning or throughout the games over the weekend. Line out to South Jersey on the five. And the ball is bobbled. They go for the clearance kick and hits ground and 14 takes it from South Shore. At about the 20, she gets tackled down. Oh, South Jersey takes it but coughs it up. South Shore. South Shore has the ball moving forward. Looks like about the five meter line. They take it right again to one of the pods. They're inching, they're getting close to the goal line. Loose ball. They're able to regain the possession. Pass it to 13 with some space on the left. Great tackle by South Jersey. They roll it back, and oh, and they call the offload. They call the knock on. Ball fell forward. It'll be South Jersey's ball on about the 10 meter line. And in this position, most likely looking to clear the ball, resettle, gain some territory. So, solid scrums needed by South Jersey. South Shore has been dominating possession. We're about 10 minutes into the game. They've had about 75% of the possession and winning the territory battle as of late. Let's see if South Jersey can make something happen. And the clearance click finds ground and bounces out at about the 22 meter line. Good exit by South Shore. Not much you can ask for in that position. Don't want to take the risk getting it wide and trying to take a run with the, the ball players outside. So it'll be South Shore's line out on the 22. Looks like uh, 
player has a fleet issue that they're fixing on the South Shore side. That's what the pause is for. And South Shore four, four line out. They do the fake in the front. Now they cannot be contested, but the ball does not go straight. So that is a turnover, and it will be a line out to South Jersey. For those unfamiliar to rugby, in the line out, the ball has to go straight in between both teams. So each team has a, a fair chance at competing for it. That ball went to the South Shore line side. So it is a turnover, and they elect to take a scrum down. See what South, South Jersey uh, likes to do with the ball. It's about the first time they have it outside of their own 10. And a riveting tackle by number 12 on South Shore. And let's see what's called. A not releasing penalty by South Shore. So South Jersey will get the penalty. And they take the quick tap. Those new to rugby on a penalty play. The team awarded the penalty. They can elect to kick the touch. They can quick tap or they can elect for a scrum. Most often they will kick tap. Or go to touch. And South Jersey making some ground with the runs. Good heavy running. Look like uh, taking a couple pick and goes, moving inch by inch. Let's see if they can get the ball wide out to their backs and attack the edges. And it looks like a knock on was called on South Jersey, scrum to South Shore. The South Shore Sirens, they Traveled all the way from Massachusetts, South Jersey. Traveling from New Jersey. And eight man pick and go. And gets taken out. Good defense by South Jersey. That's uh, couldn't ask for any more. Looks like it's bobbled. South Jersey retains it. And they get it out to the backs. Oh, the fake switch. And they get it out too. And she's got pace to burn. 13 is running. Oops. And takes the offload. And they're able to retain good run. Way to get the ball wide and use the length of the field. Stolen ball by number 12 on South Shore. Offload to six. She's taking it at 15 meters. She's close to the sideline. Can she keep the ball in? Yes, they do. Offload to nine. And they keep moving the ball. Wait, the continuity of play. Let's see if they can get quick ball and attack the at Jersey defense. Pod to the left. Pick and go, number seven, and a big tackle by South Jersey. Take them back to that gain line. Number 10 takes it. Oh, dummy. She gets pulled. Offload. South Shore attacking there about the one meter line. And penalty. Not releasing on the offense. So South Jersey's defense withstands the attack. And they look like they're not going to kick to touch. They are. They're going to quick tap. And a big run. Wow. 
And she's got pace to burn. Wow. And maybe you'll see that throughout the game. It looks like a, a clean counter ruck by South Shore. And oh, ah, you hate to see the effort. I wouldn't say go to waste because they gained about 40 meters in territory. So, oh, and a big hit by the South Jersey defense. They are not giving up. And South Jersey steals the ball. Now in transition. South Jersey taking a pod left. And they do the tips pass to a hard runner. Oh, offload. And another pod right to their number three. South Shore slowing the ball with the counter ruck. South Jersey's taking some hard runs. Oh, and a big attempt to tackle by number 12, but Penn's able to get out of the way. Ball goes backwards, so that's not a knock one. They're gonna keep playing. And another big tackle and counter ruck. South Shore defense is, is really contesting that ball in the ruck, slowing it down even when they're not turning it over. It looks like a player's down on the sideline. South Shore, they've gone about 10 phases or so. Got to think they're a little tired. And uh, maybe think about kicking here. Looks like both wings are up. There's a little bit of space on this left-hand side. Oh, but it looks like there's a turnover for not releasing on South Jersey. So it'll be a penalty to South Shore. Score remains 5-0. 18 minutes into the first half. South Shore ball. South Shore is in blue. South Jersey is in green. And they go quick. Good effort on defense. Just a hard run. And it looks like South Jersey might have stolen the ball. Not sure of the penalty. Tackler did not release. So penalty to South, penalty to Blue. And they take it quick. And it looks like they stopped play again. Oh, looks like multiple infringements on South Jersey. And they're bringing the captains in for a talk. Let's see what they have to say here. So the refs bringing two players in from each side. Okay. And both parties make it out without a card. Looks like they're just giving a warning to each team to clean up play from those multiple infringements. The captains will have a talk with their teammates and hope to make some adjustments. Yeah. And it will be South Shore's penalty on about that 22 meter line. Let's see what they have to plan for attack here. And they take a pod right off the quick tap. South Shore doing a great job just getting quick ball, keeping it moving, keeping that Jersey defense on their heels. And the Jersey defense withstands once again. Penalty on South Shore and oh, a player down. I hate to see it. So the clock stops while players are being attended to.
Each team's gonna get a moment to, to get some water as they attend to the player. These playoff weekends, they can be uh, a real test of bench strength. Teams are expected to play two matches on Saturday and Sunday. So they're able to make 28 players on their roster eligible. But you gotta think, traveling from New Jersey and I believe it's Massachusetts, South Shore, um, how many they traveled with. Both sides look like, or the South Shore side looks like they have plenty of reserves. Uh, don't see many on the, the South Jersey side line. So you wonder how they're gonna make up for an injured player and he's not exited in the field. Um, so looking to tough it out possibly, but yeah. A big loss potentially for South Jersey. Looks like they're gonna play through. South Jersey's penalty, they're gonna quick tap, take it to number three and a hard run. Good contest by the defense. We'll take another pod left. South Jersey just make really good leg drive in the tackle. Advancing meter after meter. And there's a little gap. Looks like the defense shot up a little bit, but And 13 is going to take it. She's going wide, and will they have enough space? Oh, and a tackle. It's like a maybe the the there's a penalty previously, and the ball is going to go back. So Jersey had an advantage there, no loss on that play. Penalty on about the 22 meter line. Jersey's been just about the last 15 minutes. The territory's been in on their side of the half. Wonder if they want to take the opportunity to kick it out, play a little bit in South Shore's sideline. But they really have some hard runners. They're going to elect to go quick again. And ball goes out to the fly half. Defense presses up. There's no time to pass the ball. And a good contest from South Shore to steal the ball. Counter Rook, one pass wide. 12's gonna take it. She gains 20 meters. Offload, does it go backwards? That one spills out and they turn the ball over. It looks like Jersey has advantage. And they're gonna stop playing. It's gonna be a Jersey scrum on the 15. South Shore is in their 22. They do elect to kick and find touch. It will be South Shore's line out where the ball lands. It goes directly out. They haven't been kicking to touch as recently. Only in those very desperate exit situations in a huge tackle by 12 on South Shore. Turnover, eight takes a pick and gets in for the try. That makes it 10-0 for South Shore from Massachusetts. And South Jersey's really hanging in there. They're playing tough defense. When their defense is set, they're able to stop them, they're able to create turnovers, they're able to create sloppy ball. But it's these transition plays where South Shore is stealing the ball on defense. And one, two passes wide, they're gaining a lot of momentum. South Jersey's just not able to recollect and play defense. So both penalties off the turnover on transition. And 
for the conversion kick. It looks like it's good. South Shore is up 12-0. We're about 25 minutes into the first half. Roughly 15 minutes remaining. You hear the South Shore players saying 0-0. Zero, zero. They want to keep the pressure on. Been playing in the, the jersey half about the whole last 20 minutes or so. Wonder if this Jersey team is, uh, is getting tired from playing a lot of defense. And kick bounces, keeps going. South Shore running to their 30 meter line. Good solid ruck. They're attacking, they're close to the sideline, and it looks like they're taking out. And it'll be a scrum down to South Jersey. Nope, line out to South Jersey. And that's really what the South Jersey team needs to do. They're playing great defense. They keep the ball in South Shore's end, try to create a penalty, and looks like the line out is. Knocked forward by Green. It will be a, a blue scrum. Yeah, one of their first opportunities in a while to attack in the South Shore end, and they're not able to collect the ball off the line out. In the South, Jersey scrum, pushing back South Shore. Wow, and a great effort by South Jersey. They pushed him back three or four meters. Caused some pressure, caused him to knock on, and it looks like a South Jersey player is down on the field. And they're going to call on the trainers. <laughs> South Jersey's really responded well after that second try. Calls two turnovers. They'll have the ball attacking from about the 40 meter line. And the number one is playing it up. You have to wonder she's playing through some eggs, cracking the back. Let's see if that scrum can do some damage on the offensive side. It's a really strong scrum by South Jersey. When they do have the penalties, you wonder if uh, Maybe they'll take that as their option rather than going quick while they're in South Shore's half. And ball's clean, scrum stable. Nine looks like they're going to pass it out to the backs. Goes out to 12. Oh, and South Shore tries to go for the intercept and knocks it on. They blitzed up. Didn't allow that 12 to 13 connection to happen. Scrum down to South Jersey. In the center field. This can be a tricky position on defense because they're in the center field. They can normally attack either way. It looks like South Shore's wings are both up for that defense. And South Shore, the scrum twist. Jersey's able to retain it. They get it out to 12. 12's attacking. And a tough tackle and counter ruck on defense. Jersey's able to retain the ball. 
Oh. And just a great counter ruck by South Shore. They've been able to do it all day and just another opportunity on the transition. They take it out of bounds. Scores 12-0, we're about 30 minutes in. 10 minutes left in the first half. And it looks like the ball has been lost. But Jersey has a strong counter ruck. There's a battle in there. Let's see what the ref calls. be a penalty for diving over potentially and they're going to go quick not going to give South Shore any time to, to set their defense up a little shimmy shimmy yeah by the number 10 and that counter ruck really slowing things down and they're going to get it to 13 and she's fast she sees a gap she's going to keep running Takes it about 20 meters. Can they get quick ball here and keep moving it? Oh, great pass out. Keep South Shore on their heels. They're backing up. They're going to take it tight. A nice hard stiff arm. They're into about the, the 10 meter line. They look like they got space left. Let's see if they can get it out. One ball, good pass, good hands. There's a little bit of space on the right, and it looks like they can dot it down for the try. South Jersey, what an effort. Just went sideline to sideline, methodically moved the ball. A mix of using their forwards and their backs. Good hard running. Great effort, great team try. As I mentioned, they've really responded well to that second try. From the South Shore side, they've been playing in their half, and they're able to get on the scoreboard for five points. The score's 12-5, about 32 minutes in. Conversion attempt was missed. Score remains 12-5. South Shore Sirens kicking off. Jersey really able to even things out recently. Let's see if they can do anything with the ball as they take this kickoff. Kickoff well taken. Good hard run by number two. Oh, and a runner coming at pace. They're able to take it 10 meters. Bring in three defenders. Now they're at the 50 meter line. Jersey really been able to attack. South Shore slows the ball down on the counter ruck. Jersey's trying to get it wide. It falls on the ground. Oh, and a loss of about 10 meters. And drop ball. And it looks like ref will stop play for a penalty from South Shore. That South Shore defense creating opportunities. That counter ruck and really just disrupting that Jersey offense that had some pace to move with. And a, a wide ball. They have some space. They're going to get it to 13 with a big gap. She puts the stiff arm on. She keeps running, keeps the legs moving. 
and dots it down for the try sirens as i mentioned the sirens is really able to capitalize off the turnovers that's their third try off the turnover able to get it wide while the jersey defense was not set so they're going to go up 17 to 5 with the conversion attempts about three meters away from the sideline. Each time South Shore has, has scored off these turnovers, they just do a great job of getting the ball wide before that South Jersey defense can get set. You see both teams going quick off their turnovers. Wonder if they have set plays that they're using. Conversion attempt is no good. Score remains 17-5 in favor of the South Shore Sirens from Massachusetts. South Jersey set to kick off. With about five minutes left in the half. like it doesn't go 10 meters the sirens aren't going to touch it they'll get a scrum down on the 50 in the center or not sure what the call is but looks like they're going to re-kick and the ball bounces center field Six moves, finds a gap. They're getting it wide. Oh, and she's got pace to burn. Big tackle by the fullback. <laughs> yeah. Sirens remaining on the offense. Looks like they have a little bit of space to the right side. Jersey able to slow things down with the counter ruck. Oh, the dummy pass. Oh, and it looked like there might have been a, a hand in, but there was the prior knock on. It'll be the scrum with South Jersey. Only a few minutes remaining in the half. Wonder if they'll try to retain possession and make sure South Shore doesn't have any opportunities to score remaining. Jersey has about four backs to the left side. Two backs to the right. Let's see which way they'll attack. Scrum is stable. And it's going to be an eight man pick to the left. They dish it off to the nine. And they gain some meters. South Shore once again disrupting with the counter ruck. Eight's going to take it. Pick. Wow, big run by Jersey. Plowing through defenders, taking on four. Great powerful run. And he's gonna give the ball some pace, but oh, and it looks like South Shore takes it again. Jersey's gonna counter ruck, but they only have one defender out on the left. He's gonna spot the gap. Run through, gets a few meters. Keep the ball moving. 
Siren's going to attack right with the pod. And wow, that Jersey defense, backs facing the Rucks. Oh, and diving over by the Sirens. No, diving over by Jersey. It'll be a Sirens penalty. Oh, they've been going quick. They're close to the sideline. They look like they're going to go quick again. And they're going to get it wide. Put the grubber kick down by number, number 10. Good ball. Defensive backs under pressure. Good counter ruck. Looks like they stole it. They get it wide. One more pass. And do they have enough? Not yet. It looks like Jersey's able to steal it and exit. And that's going to be the half. Great defensive stand by South Jersey. That was a great kick. Put them under a lot of pressure. You wonder if they're going to come back to that in the second half. Those joining us, scores 17-5 at the half. South Shore Sirens from Massachusetts lead South Jersey, 17-5.
looks like the huddles are breaking. Score 17-55. South Jersey's leading. Excuse me, South Shore Sirens are leading South Jersey Devils. New Jersey Devils are wearing green. South Shore is in powder blue. And it looks like the Jersey Te Devil players are having a word with the ref. Trying to get something figured out, make some adjustments in this second half. They remain down 12 points. We've seen them, really powerful runs, strong defense. They've had trouble in the transition. But when they've been able to play in their end, it's been a pretty even matchup. South Shore just really able to capitalize off turnovers and put the ball on the try line. And it looks like the Sirens will kick off to start the second half. Blows a whistle. Sirens kick off. Goes to number two. Hard run. He takes in two defenders. Devil's ball. He'll take a pod right, but stonewalled by the Sirens defense. As they lose a little bit of ground. Wide pass. Sirens defense is rushing up. He's got nowhere to go. But keeps those legs driving. And they're able to retain the ball. Runner, but she looks like she's alone. And the support comes quickly. Oh, 10 spots a gap. Able to make some meters. Ball looks like it gets loose out of the scrum, but Devil's able to collect it. We'll take a quick and go. And pull back on the sirens is very close up. Looks like the ball might have been lost. Jersey's ball, there's no fullback. You gotta wonder if they're getting some intel from the wing to kick the ball. There's plenty of space in the back. The Devils, they've been playing for about 10 phases. Been able to make about 20, 30 meters. Good hard running. Oh, and it looks like the Sirens defense slips in the ruck. They're going to be penalized for it. Diving over is the call. Looks like they're going to go quick. Good pass out wide to number three. He's had some outstanding runs this afternoon. Pass goes out wide to the right. The ball of 13's hands. She's got speed. And she finds a gap. She's up the middle. Can they catch her? And a great tackle by the wing. Save the tie. They're going to try to keep going left. Devil's offense, they're all going left. Are they able to find any space? Good run, takes in about three defenders. They look like they're on the seven meter line, but a great counter attack once again. Able to create some sloppy ball and the, the Devils knock it on in their five. Devils able to take it. 
about 70 meters all on the feet. Put the sirens under some pressure. They're going to kick. They're going to exit to the fullback. 15 collects it. About three defenders in front of her. Good chase. Oh, and they try to offload. Ref calls it backwards. The jersey's going to collect the ball. And big run. Sirens defense is on their heels. They're trying to get back in time. Looks like the ball's going to come out left. Oh, and falls to the ground. Advantage blue. They get it wide to the wing. She's wrapped up quickly. And they're going to go back to the advantage. Wow. Great defensive play by 13. But the Sirens had advantage on the knock on. Jersey seems to be gaining some confidence in the second half. Just some unfortunate turnovers. Be a center scrum. Looks like we have about three backs left, two right, and a full back in the center. They're going to go to the fly half left. Oh, dummy pass through the defense. They're going to get it wide. Another offload. Hard run. Just past the 50 meter line. See if they can get some quick ball and keep moving with this momentum. Their hard run gained about 10 meters. The Sirens keep putting the pressure on them with that offense. Moving the ball quick. And it looks like they knock it on. The ball goes out of bounds. Let's see. Looks like she got taken out, and it's going to be a line out to the Jersey Devils. And it looks like a diving over penalty off their feet on the offense. Ball's going to go to the Sirens. They're going to quick tap. Got a pod left, pod right. And the ball falls to the ground. Good counter, struck by the Devils. Playing the ball on the ground, it looks like. Penalty to Jersey. Good defense by the Jersey Devils once again. They're going to quick tap. Wow, good pass. Goes just off the hands, but goes backwards. Bob's able to take, make multiple defenders miss. They're going to get it wide. Some of their playmakers. And it looks like she's carried out at about the 50 meter line. We go a line out to the sirens. For those unfamiliar to rugby, the sidelines are called the touch lines. Anytime a player steps out of bounds, the ball goes to the opposing team where the ball went out. 
and they'll have a line out to set there, similar to an inbound play in football or basketball. Clean line out, but the ref says it was not straight. So they're going to give it back to the Jersey Devils. And they elect to take the scrum. Score remains 17-5. We're about eight minutes into the second half. Clean scrum. 12's going to take it. Spots a little bit of gap. Gets it off just before the pass. And 13's got the ball. Offload. They got a little bit of space on the left hand side. Supports a little late. And Sirens once again able to down a ruck and, and steal that ball. A nice hard run. They're trying to take her out of bounds. Get a turnover, but he's able to go to ground and stay in. Another pod left. Taking in multiple defenders. Big tackle. A number three of the jersey. South Shore still working to get quick ball. They're trying to get it wide. Through the hands. Jersey able to come up in defense and make a make a good tackle behind the game line. South Shore taking a pick and go. Close to the sideline on that left hand side. Penalty awarded to the Sirens. A little bit of frustration from the Devils coaching staff. Sirens look like they're taking their time. Wonder what they're drawing up here. Tried getting it wide off a couple other. Oh, and it looks like the ball is stolen by the Jersey defense. Great defensive play. They were able to come up quick. Stop whatever they had planned in the tracks. Sirens, quick to counter ruck. And they call not release and penalty to the Sirens. They're trying to get it wide. They thrive off transitions, keep the ball moving. Let's see what they can do here. And big tackle once again. Number three. Oh, and she gets up, makes another tackle. And South Shore with some space. To the left. They're about on the five meter line. They're trying to go quick. Dot it down. Good tackle on D. Six takes it in. 
and puts it in for the try. Number six on the Sirens. That'll put them up 22 to five. With about 27 minutes left in the half. this right sideline. They've won this afternoon. They can make it two. Kicks accurate. Does it have enough? Looks like it's fall short. The sirens remain up. 17 points. We're about 15 minutes into the second half. 25 to go. off pops up to the center well taken by sixth prior try score they have a retain possession kind of ruck slows things down and takes it she scoots around the defense skips the ball out right to 13 close to the sideline there it will stay in oh and they step out. Looked like there was a little confusion up the sideline. But a uh, big opportunity from the Sirens. Unfortunate, they didn't see the sideline. Line out to Jersey. Well contested, but Jersey's able to collect it. They're going to get it wide. Ew, and the ball is intercepted by number 13 of the Sirens. You saw her trying to do that earlier. Knocked it on. Was able to pick this one up. Just a good read on defense, anticipating that pass. First single one of the ball. They didn't see her. She dots it down in the center. Sirens go up 27 to five. With a conversion attempt just off the left post. Kick is good. South Shore Sirens go up 29 to five. With just over 20 minutes left, second half. So far throughout the game, South Shore Sirens really just able to create opportunities with their defense, whether it's in the counter ruck, calls and penalties, and, and capitalizing off those opportunities. They'll receive the ball in the kickoff. 
powerful run. Big tackle by Jersey. They're gonna keep the legs pumping though. Try to steal the ball out of the hands. And what's the call gonna be from the ref? Looks like she's taking it back to a previous spot. Or a penalty to the sirens. And a big hit from the Jersey defense. Another big tackle. Jersey defense, when they've been set, they've been able to make a lot of plays behind the line, disrupt this offense. 10's gonna fake switch, and 13's gonna spot the gap in the middle of the defense. They're gonna try to keep the ball moving. Did they collect it? Yes, they did. They're under a little bit of pressure. They've got some space on the right side now. And a huge hit from the 15 of the Devils. Wow. That's sure to bring some momentum back to the defense. Appears to be holding that right shoulder. Not possibly a stinger, but my shoulder's hurting after that one. Wow. Sirens able to keep moving the ball left to right. Get their playmakers in some space. They look like they're on about the five meter line or right in front of the try line. And they go in for another try on the sideline. That puts the Sirens up 34 to five. With the conversion attempt on the sideline, a couple players down from Jersey. And as I mentioned earlier, South Shore looks to have a few players on the bench. Where's Jersey? The limited subs. Wonder if the fatigue's starting to settle in. The sun's out here in Richmond, Virginia. It's about 75 degrees on this morning. They keep warming up throughout the day. And a few players. It's like they're having trouble getting around, but they're gonna remain in. South Jersey team's tough. Continuously making hits on defense. South Shore just, wow. What a kick from number 10. She does a little skip on the way back to the her end to receive the kickoff. That was from the sideline. That puts up the sirens, 36 to five. 18 minutes left in the second half. Siren set to receive. Big kickoff from the Devils. Goes over the head of the hooker. And a hard run from the Sirens. Take them back to the 40 meter line. They're nine, directing the traffic. They're gonna take a pod left. Or pod right, excuse me. See the defense just keep backing up. 
causing them to stay on their heels. And it's like a big gap in the middle field. Wonder if they're going to attack the back soon. You know, quite the effort on defense to counter Ruck. And the Devils steal the ball on the 50 meter line, but it looks like they're taken out. So it'll be a line out to the Sirens. Both teams electing a quick tap throughout the game. Wonder if that's any indication of their confidence in the line out. South Shore, they're attempting that fake throw. They're getting it wide. Oh, she tries to offload, coughs it up forward. South Jersey ball with the advantage. And Siren slow things down, so they're going to take it back to the spot of the knock on for a scrum to the Devils. Wow. It's really heating up in Richmond. Rainy day yesterday. Wonder if the humidity is going to come into play from some of these northern teams. All the Devils get some good go forward in the scrum earlier. Oh! Looks to be an early push. The ref's going to reset it. Looks like a member of the Devils is going to stretch out the calves or knee. Boy, they regained that. Scrum. And Siren's able to get some push, but Devil's able to recollect it. And a knock on from the Devils. Unfortunate. Scores 36 to five. The sirens in the blue are leading. South Jersey Devils with about 14 minutes to go. Like they're gonna take a quick break. Member down of the Jersey Devils. Appears to be cramping up. Looks like the member of the Devils is, is up, but unfortunate to see. Sirens are going to bring it in for a huddle.
And 13's gonna remain in the game. Keep stretching out that right calf. Here's to be walking with some tension. Scrum down to the Sirens. Keeping the ball, moving forward. They're going to get it wide with some space. Good defense. And they're going to wrap the ball up, slow things down. Great pressure by the Devils defense. Sirens on about to the meter line. They're going to stop play or penalty. Try is awarded. That puts South Shore up 41 to 5 with about 10 minutes remaining in the second half. Conversion attempt. Wide left. Scores 41 to five. Devils kicking off the Sirens. Sirens making a few subs. Get some of their starters some rest. Scoreboard doesn't indicate it, but it really was a competitive match until about that 50th or 60th minute. Sirens, too much offense to handle. Their defense creating turnovers. Looks like they're gonna make another sub as well. Tough run from the number six. Oh, they go for the offload and they lose it forward. But they're gonna call a penalty for offsides from the Devils. Didn't appear the ruck was set. But it'll be the Sirens ball with a quick tap. And they get it wide, good pass. Skip the next offender. 
They got some space, good hands, moving it left. They're approaching the sideline, able to bring it back in with a forward ball. Sirens knock it on. They're gonna play advantage of the Devils. And a big tackle from the Sirens. And another big tackle from the Sirens. Number six, which has an incredible motor, making a difference on the offensive and defensive side. And they're going to go back to the original advantage due to the forward pass. About seven minutes left in the game. scrum, they're gonna spot a gap. Nice offload, taking in the tackle. Sirens rip it away, able to keep the pressure on the defense. Let's see what the ref calls. They call not releasing on the offense. 10 takes it quick, offloads. But they're gonna call not 10 again. Another penalty to the Sirens. Siren's going to make another sub. Give their starters some rest before they play their next match Sunday in the championship of the Mid-Atlantic Super Regional Qualifier for the USA Rugby Nationals in St. Louis, Missouri. They're gonna take it in for another try. To go up 46 to five. Sirens really running away with this game in the second half. Able to create turnovers. Really effectively move the ball during the transition. Just too much to handle before that Jersey defense can get set. Jersey defense played phenomenal the first half, second half. They were able to stop the offense multiple times, but I'm too much. straight but falls short. Sign, sirens are going to remain up 46 to 5. And they'll receive the kickoff from the Devils.
great catch. They're going to put the dummy on, spot a gap in the middle of the field. Big opportunity for the Sirens, but they're going to turn it over. Oh, she's able to miss the, make the defender miss. Find some space. Offload gets caught by the Sirens. Oh, and it looks like the ball was stolen or lost forward advantage to the Devils. Gonna take a slow phase. Set their offense. They see some space on the right side. Sirens really coming up on defense, trying to stop it early. Jersey's got some hard runners though. And looks like the ball's on the ground. Jersey able to retain possession. Oh, a big tackle on the left. Great catch. Few players down on the right hand side for the Devils. The ref's going to stop play. They're going to call diving over on the defense. Penalty to the Devils. stop looks like one of the Devils players they're number three she's been a threat all game ramping up only a few minutes ago she's gonna tough it out penalty to the Devils with a few minutes to go take off the right hand side they're inching on the try line and they put it in the devil's in for the try line looks like it was number seven the flanker they're able to dot it down they didn't give up And the siren, the sirens are celebrating. They advance to the championship tomorrow. Championship for the Mid-Atlantic Super Regional. It will take place Sunday at nine. Excuse me. It'll take place Sunday at 11 a.m. And great to see the Jersey Devils team doing a little bit of celebrating too. They won their conference. They've got much to be proud of, putting a try at the end of the game to end it out, but the sirens, just a little bit too much to handle for them.
as we are waiting. The next match we have up will be North Bay Rugby Club from Baltimore, Maryland versus Providence from Rhode Island. We're gonna take a moment. Teams are gonna have a few minutes to warm up and we're gonna return shortly. <laughs> 